Hello everybody. How the axiom of a king became the supreme lord for the people. Let's go back to the ancient Greece and the period of Mycenae. At the top of the social pyramid was the Anaktas, the supreme lord of the palace from where all power flowed. After Anaktas was Laagetas, from the words Laos and Igume, the leader of the people, and was involved in the leadership of the army. Next to the Anaktas were the Epetes, from the word Epome, that means the followers, companions, who were a body of supreme warriors. Also were Coretes, who led a geographical division, and their assistants, the Procoretes. Important persons on the regional administration seem to have been the Telestes, and we come at the title of the king who had the duties of a local ruler. With the fall of the Mycenaean civilization, the whole social system collapsed. There was no central palace authority and the Greek space was divided into tribal groups. That was the end of the Anaktas, the Laagetes and the others. However, the position of the king remained and the term took on another meaning, that of the Supreme Lord.